Hey guys, and welcome to episode 29 of FTB University, where I've been doing some terraforming. And before I show you what I've done, I've just uh, whipped up a ME storage bus. Pretty sure this is the right one. And we can hook this up to this dude. Connect that. Hope that's going to say one channel. There we go. It's now connected. And I'll just put the priority up on this uh, to 10. And what priority means is when we put stuff in the system, it'll prioritize going into the storage drawers, which is what we want. Now, I've hollowed out the inside of this building. The trophies over here transferred a lot of our storage. Now, I just want to make sure. Oh yeah, we've got, we've got the stuff that's in the storage drawers showing up in here, so that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yes. Hollowed out the inside, got rid of the second floor, uh, still got stuff that wasn't chests. <laughs> still some tidying up to do. Made a bunch of ash vaults, uh, actually want to extend this out a little bit, do something with the portals. Uh, we've got power over here, I need to replace these lines because I keep electrocuting myself. But yeah, we got, uh, huh, those villagers are going to die. Uh, I have a quick power nap. Hey, what are you, what are you doing? It's going to be a real hassle. Yeah, and ran a cable all the way under. So now we can get to our storage from here as well. Yeah, so that's going to make everything way, way easier. Um, like I can transfer all of this stuff. Probably, yeah, like this does not need to be in a chest. Yeah, so our logistics pipe uh, isn't actually connected to anything because I moved the storage drawers, which is all that that was hooked up to. So, yeah, I'll... Definitely look at some logistics pipes, but probably not going to use it for item transfer because, you know, the slight delay waiting. Yeah, nah, I'm not about that. I'm not about that. And to be fair, he could have ran that cable up there if I'm going to remove this one. But uh, I'll sort that later. I'll sort that later. Uh, we'll leave that stuff there. Move the mirror so I can, I can still craft plates. Uh, yeah. Still a lot of base infrastructure to sort out. But I thought before I go getting too deep into like the auto crafting, we might as well carry on with some thorn craft. So, things I want to make. Uh, I'll probably craft off camera all of this stuff. Like these things we're not actually going to use for anything. Now, uh, because there's no point showing you me making them, just making them and then not actually using them. I want to make one of these, but we don't have the... I need to get another primordial pearl. Hmm. Yeah, the only stuff I want to make is the flux cleanup. I don't know if there's a quest for it. Flux cleanup, here we go. So we need a flux condenser. And then we need these flux condenser lattices. So we need a bunch of thormium. Cool, so let's put our system to work then. How much thormium do we have? Four. Okay, so there's not heaps. But we can grab some iron. And we can start getting some thormium made. Now I don't suspect we've got heaps of this stuff. Actually, we should have plenty of Procantio because I just processed... Oh, we're not wearing our armor. I was doing stuff. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll make all of that, but it's a start. So we need some Tholian plates. We need this flux condenser lattice. We need some Essentia filters. That's not too bad. Actually, I don't think we have any gold. Oh, I got 18 gold. Okay. 
Hey. Flux condenser. Now, I would have thought there'd be a quest for that, but maybe there's not. Or maybe we just haven't unlocked it yet. And then we need a bunch of these lattices. Let's put some of this other stuff away. What do we need for them? Thormium plates, those things, and other stuff. Okay. So the lattices. Because that's not enough. Now, I don't actually know how to set this up. Okay. So reading that. We have to get this thing a sentia, which is a little bit dumb. Um, where would be a good place for that? I mean, maybe on... If I put it here, is it going to affect stability? I mean, is that going to affect stability? Hmm. I mean, I definitely want it near this dude. Let's try... Just to see if it works. I think you do something like this. Now we obviously want a bunch more, and we've got to supply this with Essentia. And it can be any Essentia, so we'd grab something we've got lots of, like Herba. Now, I don't know, is this working? Uh, let's check on... So yes, it's doing something. Now it's supposed to give us back the other Essentia, Flux Essentia. Use a Resonator. What is a Resonator? Essentia Resonator. I don't know what this thing is. Let's make one. This sounds kind of... Have I made one? Kind of sounds like a thing you're supposed to make early on. Oh, it does our scanny thing work. There's still flux in the area. Ah, uh, probably wants to be in the same chunk, actually. Um, yeah. Ah, the resulting Essentia is drained from the bottom. All right, all right. So if I'm going to do that, though. Picking this wants to be further away. We need an empty jar. Which I don't really have. Um, are you an empty jar? You are. Can we just plonk you there? Hey, we can do that. What's oh, that ascent here? Oh. Uh, that was interesting. Um, what does that mean? I'm going to need to get rid of that little bit of herba somehow. i got another full one. Cool, so that's doing something. I don't know why it... What does it mean when it hisses? Um, let's, uh... Let's break down some of this stuff. The flux at the moment is... Yeah, so it's going up. It goes up what, every time we cook something? Looks like it. 
We've got 143 flux, and it's slowly going down. I am confused. This would be better with a pipe coming off the bottom. I mean, it's doing stuff. Yeah, okay. I'll just... I'll just do this. And we'll just replace that when it gets empty. Uh, yeah, I don't know about the hissing. It's slightly concerning, but hey. Actually, I thought I was going to miss the flight, but um, jumping around is pretty fun. Alright, so we have like some flux cleanup stuff, right? So that's handy. That can help just keep stuff a little bit, a little bit safer uh, here. Actually, there's something I haven't checked on for a while. And that is, what's been happening in that dimension where I was purposefully letting it get real fluxy? Oh yeah. Looks like he's taking damage from something. But what? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, we got some. We got some stuff happening here. Ooh, what are you? Tainted crawler. Let's can we scan you? Yeah, research completed. Tainted crawler. So they help the taint spread faster. Cool, good to know. Yeah, this place is getting pretty cool. Now, disappointingly, there's no rift. Oh, there's another one of those things over there. So how much of the area that's loaded is purple? I mean, yeah. Whoa, 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 what is that? Taint tendrils. Cool. What are they? Interesting. Look, it's another one. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so obviously there's... Oh, there's not much flux here at the moment. It's because, uh, yeah, it all... All dispersed over time. But hey, we can fix that. There we go, and then I can shift right click this. There's some flux. Oh, whoa, we got one immediately. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to just leave that uh, there, making some nice flux in the area. And yeah, this guy will get big and we'll muddy up with some more taint spawning. Beautiful. Now, these like specific taint wood logs, swollen taint. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if we actually use any of the standard stuff for anything, but uh, it's definitely fun corrupting part of the world. So, yeah, I think I want to make this, these bath salts. Uh, so we need some Silas Mundus. I mean, let's just make a couple. Kind of want to make the better one as well. If we put you in here, do we have the stuff for this? Mm. 
Looking good so far. Uh, maybe not auto, maybe auto. Three. Okay, so we're out of auto. All right, and auto comes from ooh, modifier elemental aspect auto. What is that? Wait, what? That sounds cool. It's that thermic augmentation. Wait, personal flight? A harness base. I think this is some kind of jetpack. Gyroscope. I mean, I definitely. Ah, I gotta go to the end before I can do that. That's cool though. I've done the the void boots. I mean, a thorium caster's gauntlet. It's kind of, it's not one of the quests, but yeah, I want to make a Thormium Caster Scormit. So Thormium, I don't think I have any other plates. Uh, hey, a Thormium Caster Scormit. Now... All right, I didn't do the research first. Just in case the stuff locked behind it. So there is augmentation. So this is augmenting the gauntlet. Aha. So you can use this to increase the power. Ah, nice. Like increase the, I mean, these aren't hard to make either. Increase the power of our spells even further. I mean, I want to get, uh, I need to get the heal spell out of this dude. Cool. Well, at least it, it looks cool. Um, I don't... Yeah, uh, you just go there for now. Oh, and... Hey, this is the perfect opportunity to... Find some auto on something. Cool. And I got some purifying bath salts. So... This goes in like a pool of water, right? Assuming probably like a, a small pool of water. Why don't we chuck this in here? It looks like it's going to dissolve. Is that how this works? Okay, it sounds like this is how they work. I also don't know how much warp I have. Purifying fluid. Oh. Ah, we got warp ward. Interesting. For half an hour. Ah, oh, cool. So this must get rid of those effects if they happen and then we have sanity soap which is a block of flesh which sounds lovely block of flesh ah oh, it's literally zombie flesh if we wanted sanity soap oh, I'm going to be short on auto again short on alienus that was ender pearls i think Ooh. so this will remove warp 
So let's save him for when we really need him. <laughs> cool. And yeah, no quest reward there. Oh, get 32 for an arcane spa. Oh, that's pretty cheap. All right, we're making one of them. Arcane spa. Can be filled with water and purify bath salts, and it will pour the purifying fluid into the world in a 5x5 five five area above it. Okay, cool. So I guess if you're going to do that, though, you'd be wanting to automate... Um, the production of it. It's a lot of sanitizing soap. Because that's really expensive. Huh. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, I figured out what a sticky projectile is. You get spat out by a camel. Or a llama, sorry. Spat out by a llama. And that will uh, finish that bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I'll just craft these other bits and pieces. Just see if it finishes off our Thorncraft quests. Maybe not this thing's is optional. We'll see if there's anything particularly cool. And then I think we might be about done with Thorncraft for a bit. I would like to see the other stuff. I think there's like other dimensions involved with one of these mods. I don't know which one. Yeah, all right. I'll uh, just craft some of these other bits and pieces that are in our quest book, and then, then, then we'll see how we're going. I think that'll be the end of the episode. But hey, all right. <laughs> Been doing a bunch of stuff. And I've got something I want to try with this liquid death we just made. So, all right. We've got an infernal furnace, which I've been chucking in aubergines and baked potatoes. And with these arcane bellows, which speed up the sky, I think we could even fit another one here if we wanted. Um, the only annoying thing is they're out of sync. Uh, you can also use them to speed up our uh, sentient smelters, like I did over here. But let's say if we go over to Mr. Gollum over here. And he's been working hard. Get some eggplant and some potato. And we chuck it in here. And then over time, this just cooks it. Now actually, I think it makes flux. To be fair, it doesn't seem like it's making a lot. Yeah, so that's cool. That's cool. So that's one of the things we made. Um, we'd already made that. I've made these arcane levitators. We're going to check them out in a minute. I've got this magic mirror. Um, this is pretty cool. I've linked it to this guy. So he's actually kind of pointless at the moment, but you can at least see how he works. And yeah, that's... So you could use that uh, like instead of an ender pouch. And have that feeding into like a chest that goes into like a crusher or a furnace. Perhaps one of these furnaces and smelts all the stuff up. So yeah, uh, probably, yeah, might use it. Might not. Uh, let's clear out some of this drink. Oh, I've got triple meat treats as a reward from making that dude. Uh, made the arcane ear. Now from what I understand, put him down. Set this guy to like two. Oh, you can see, yeah, he would output a redstone signal. Which I don't think he does by himself. Yeah, it's only because of the sarcane ear. And yeah. yeah. So you could use that for some sort of. Maybe like a secret entrance to a base. We've got to play a certain play a certain song before you can come in. Oh, but again, no reuse for that. Made these Essentia buffers. Might work on getting the Essentia storage thing that it suggests in the quests. Might not. Essentia mirrors. Now, I don't know how we'd use this. Perhaps we could store all our jars somewhere else. 
and then have this transport stuff through the mirrors. I'm assuming you just link them like, yeah. But it doesn't take items, it only takes Essentia. But uh, yeah, not going to use that at the moment. Oh, can you unlink it? Well, you just have to link them together again. Uh, did end up getting quests for making the flux condenser. Which we've been burning through a bit of the excess flux we've got. Uh, excess essentia we've had. And yeah, that's turning it into that stuff. Which I don't know how full that is. It's hard to see. 194. So that's getting pretty full. Could just make a void jar, but probably best to store the stuff. I had been making it with nether wart, I think. But you also get a little bit of other stuff. And I think that's about it for things that I've made that aren't related to these two things. Now this arcane levitator. <laughs> I'll put it down and you'll probably figure out what I'm going to do with it. This guy's going in the mob farm. Hey, that's cool. Now I think you can place these... Yeah, so that push mobs up. And then maybe you could have another one like there that pushes them away. And they take full damage. Maybe you could use it for transporting items. I don't know what this input on the back's for. Oh, this uses V, or V, apparently. Apparently it's V. Uh, but, I mean, it's made up word, so. Um, I don't know what the default is. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. No, wait, didn't I have another one? Yes, I did. So the fact that it uses V in the area... It was a minute. Maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, without I didn't know that was a thing before. But my plan is we move this brain in the jar. We put him say here. And we put this uh, I won't put the liquid death down until the last bit. We should have enough. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll at least be getting all the mobs here. The fact that it makes me bounce around so much is... Oh. I mean, let's try it. I don't think this is going to work. You know, we put liquid death here. And I don't know if this gets used up. Let's try it. Ah, they're all kind of getting shot up in the air. What if I... Hmm, okay. And maybe, yeah, if these were up higher. Oh, that looks better. I don't like that it shoots me up in the air. But, to be fair. What if there was... I mean, that could work. I think if these were one 
back further. It might be better. might work. I need more dirt though. Uh, yes. Because this should be the only place monsters can end up. I think. Let's try it. Kind of works. Yeah, that works pretty good. Now, I might use a lot of vase in the area. It's going to get us heaps of these vis crystals. I think now we need like some sort of vacuum hopper. A vacuum chest. Which is... I mean, we haven't got into any of the ender eye stuff for making that stuff, but... You can kind of pick up stuff. Well guys, yeah, <laughs> getting through Thorncraft and we have, you know, a mob farm, a mob farm. Probably still not worth doing it this way as opposed to other ways, but if you need some of these particular Vs crystals, which Maybe you do, maybe you do. This would be not a bad way to go about getting them. Hey, this has been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.